Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Masala Damkhesi. I'm the um, chairperson of the Postgraduate Student Council. I would like to welcome you to our first ever three minutes thesis competition at the main campus. Um, I've also provided, as part of my research, a blueprint on how you can combine statistics, economics, mathematics, and social science in solving real-life problems. Um, and acknowledging the role of socially constructed meaning and subjective experience in reality may allow us to construct a more complete science, an integral science that transcends the stranglehold of unchecked rationality and makes room for beauty and justice to take their rightful places in a society that calls itself civilized. Analysis. Now for the first time, we could determine what percentage of a fruit, because remember, with a rootstock and a sound, we only measure one single thing, which is a fruit. We could determine which percentage of this fruit is in, um, actually influenced by the rootstock and what by the soil and how much by the environment. So, social status plays a big role in a person's identity. This social status gets updated through channels like Facebook and Twitter. Social capital forms when people are connected and it enables a community to be resilient in the face of threats. So, I used um, competitive case studies to look at Guinea Bissau and Guinea and ask myself, in the post-colonial era, are they really post-colonial? So I use post-colonialism as a school of thought to determine that. You see over here. Therefore, there's a need for a cost-effective, safe water virus vaccines. And that's where I come in. Virus like particles have been successfully used as vaccines. And then these particles, they resemble the true virus. Therefore, they can induce the immune response that is similar to the one induced by, by the true virus. But it's safer because they do not contain any genetic material of the virus. Therefore, they do not have any adverse effects and they do not, they cannot revert to the wild type strain. Um, there is a big problem in sheep agriculture whereby there is a low fertility following a surgical artificial insemination in sheep when frozen fowl semen are used. Now you would ask me why study pollen, pollination? Well, pollination biology can tell us a lot about how plants develop or adapt to changing environments. So, if we can understand how plants do that, we can better plan for the future. In my study, I will be investigating bullying in pre-adolescence. These are children aged 10 to 12, as bullying tends to peak in this age group. There are many theories as to why this happens, and I will be looking at whether it could be the normal changes that happen within the family that's contributing to this peak. So I would like to bring in a new plant, but first we need to study what this plant does on other plants. And this plant is actually quite a bully. It secretes chemicals which um, can have a bad influence on other plants, whether on germination or growth. 